long Hebrews. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. Check this out, Hebrews. I want to do this on the religions and how the religions come from Babylon and how we Hebrews ain't supposed to ever mix up in these religions because the Creator had already stated that he wanted us to be a priestly nation unto him and how all other peoples would have to come to us and how all other religions are no good and what I want to show Hebrews is how the Eastern religions come from Babylon see a lot of people don't know that the Babylonian priests and the Babylonian scribes not only went west towards Africa way, but they also went east. And they set up this nation called Bacterian. Bacterian. Bacteria is what I called it. And then, you know, this nation was centered men around Afghanistan and Turkestan about right here. And it's like... You know, the gateway to all the uh, Eastern religions going to come from there. And how the Babylonian scribes, when they were starting to be attacked and so forth. You know, because the original Babylonian scribes, the Hamites who founded the Mesopotamian uh, uh, system and government going all the way back to uh, Nimrod. And how, you know, the uh, how Shinar was one of his civilizations he built. And then how, you know, Babel and so forth and all them other nations that, you know, come from the Hamites. That that would be the Akkadians, the, the Sumerians, the people from Ur, uh, Ur, the original Chaldeans, and all those peoples, you know, was in the... Uh, Mesopotamian area and then I show how that the uh, no pig minute peoples that came descendants in them and the fallen angelic beings now this is what I want to show you Hebrews too because the angelic beings gonna have a whole lot to do with the Mesopotamian gods culture like Murdoch, Naboo you know, Norajel and all those Mesopotamian gods are going to be the the descendants or the actual uh, uh, felon angelic beings. And then I can show that the felon angelic beings were in human forms and that the angels, the heavenly hosts, were just like us. Had arms, legs, can walk, ate, ate food and everything. And, uh... How did it was said that those angelic beings went into the daughters of man? So now we ain't looking at no ghosts or we ain't looking at no angelic beings with no wings flying down, mating with the folks that what the average person would think from the Jewish myths that's been passed about, you know, the uh, biblical history. You know, the Babylonian scribes got a hold of biblical history and they distorted it and then that's how you know they kind of obscure their history and their origin too you know because they just focus on the bible and then they kind of like hid their traditions in the background and like just what they practice in secrecy and them being them secret organizations and you know they got them rituals and so forth and how they preserve it that way and then how did they use it the biblical history to distort world history and so forth because the people who we abandon our heritage to try to protect try to portray themselves as Israelites and, and I'm explaining all that but those angelic beings who made it with the uh with the humans are uh, were of like a, a human uh, uh, type and I'm going to show this and then, you know they are the founders of the uh, Babylonian 
religious system. And then I'm going to show how those religions went east and how Zoroasterism going to be like the main one. And from Zoroasterism, you get the Barmanism. And that's that Vedic uh, uh, Sanskrit uh, language and so forth. How all that come from bacteria. And, and bacteria is going to be a nation that the Babylonian scribes uh, founded, you know, when they uh, got chased out of uh, Babylon doing different invasions when the Assyrian Hamite stock tried to take it back over because the original Hamite stock had got mixed in with the Cain folks and, and, and the no pigmented peoples that came at the Caucasus Mountain through Armenia and so forth and settled in Babylon. And then that's Hayek Nymphat. Hayek Nymphat is the founder of, uh, of Armenia and he's supposed to have slayed and killed Nimrod and so forth. You know, that's their tradition and what they got in their history. But how those people, the no pigmented people went to Babylon, but before they just got all the way into Babylon and took it over, some of those pigmented Babylonian scribes uh, uh, and priests went to bacteria, you know, and I, I believe that some of them didn't have no pigmentation too, that they went to bacteria, you know, but some of the Amorites, you know, they would mix and they would have a, 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 a Semitic look, you know, a mixed look. And then, you know, them would be the ones that went to bacteria. And then them Babylonian scribes from bacteria, they would, you know, spread the, uh, the Eastern religion. But this is what I want to show. That man, that man, that the uh, Hermans was the same kind of people that the angelic beings were. You know, man type with arms and legs. Look. And it says, and it come to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of Yah saw the daughters of men, that they were fair and they took them wives, all which they chose. And that's where the religion and all the evil, wicked stuff going to come from too. And, and the Elohim said, my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also was flesh. Yet his days shall be in 120. See, when them angelic beings went into the humans, uh, um, the peoples, you know, with pigmentation, they made, they cut their life expectancy down. You know, they cut their life expectancy down. You know, whereas they was living eight, nine hundred years and, and so forth. And how it got cut down to like 120 years or somewhere around that age. You don't never see nobody living past uh, 130 and 40 years you know that's because those uh angelic beings had mixed in and then they say that the angelic beings didn't have no pigmentation uh, uh that they was none pigmented as a sign you know and, and that that was they trait that the creator had took they pigmentation from them all right, and these were the giants, the, the the rulers in the earth. And I explained in a lot of videos how we had our dealings with the giants, the Amorites, and how the Amorites are connected to that same Babylonian culture that I'm talking about, you know, with the religions and so forth, and how we would have to deal with them giants and, and destroy them, but how did they legacy would go over into the Amorites. See, a lot of things got to deal with the Amorites in the Babylonian culture. You know, so we see that the uh, sons of God coming to the daughters of man. Now, let me show you that they had human characteristics. You know, our father Abraham had a dealing with them, with the uh, heavenly host, you know, direct. And, uh, you know, they was going to Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy it. And he spoke it and, and, you know, kicked it with them. And then I can show you that our father Jacob wrestled with one of them, you know, that had arms and legs and so forth. But that they recognized and knew 
the heavenly host. All right. And the Elohim appeared unto Abraham in the plains of memory. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked. And lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the earth and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. You know, and then as, you know, he go on, he get to talking to, you know what I'm saying, them angelic beings. And then he said this, you know, because they said that they was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And then he asked them that if they found, you know what I'm saying, like a fruit people that was righteous, that would he spare the nation. And the creator said he would. And then, you know, they started off at a high number. Then they finally got down to a low number. And the creator said he'll spare the place if it was just a fruit righteous people there. And then how, you know, prophet Abraham said this, that, you know, that the righteous, you know, that the creator wouldn't destroy the righteous with the wicked look that be far from thee to do this is genesis 18 that be far from thee genesis 18 25 that be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked that the high, that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee shall not the judge of the whole earth do right see so then you know he was talking to the heavenly host, the creator, and so forth, you know, and then we know that two of them angels went on to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, where the third one, you know, the creator, they don't know where he went to, as you read, you know, the Genesis 18 story of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and Sodom and Gomorrah, that Canaanite, Amorite, culture went all the way to uh, Mesopotamia and that was the culture that we Israelites were to destroy well okay Hebrews this is what I want to get in now and I already showed that the uh, angels and heavenly hosts had human characteristics and so forth and those would be the people the uh, the angelic beings that was worshipped in, uh, in Babylon that would be taken to the rest of the eastern nations like India and China and so forth and how did that stuff come from them them fake religions come from Babylon that went into Iraq you know what I'm saying Iran you know what they call the Persian Empire you know you see them Zogaris mountains right there well, the non-pigmented peoples came from Turkey all the way around in the Caspian Sea and so forth and hugged the coast and went down into the Zogros Mountains. And then, you know, the Babylonian scribes would be getting attacked and then they would go settle in Bacterian. And then from Bacterian, you get the Zoroastrian religion. And then, you know, from there, you know, you get all the rest of the eastern religions and so forth and uh man it's a mess and and then that's how all them fake religions come by see he go bacteria and then all the ancient empires will go take it over like the greeks uh, uh man the greeks took it over uh alexander's generals the salutes and a whole bunch of people eskenaz even took it over and then they would get they uh uh religious rituals and so forth from there too and then this is a, you know what I'm saying that's bacteria right there and then that's the kingdom that the uh that the Babylonian scribes set up on the other side of Babylon to uh educate those Mongol peoples the mixed looking peoples you know uh the Mongol peoples you know gave them their religions all right let's see that's bacteria right there. And then that's where them Babylonian scribes settled it. That's where the Babylonian scribes settled after they got chased by the Babylon. Some of them would go east. And then some of them was placed in our land in Samaria. Now, I'm going to tell you who tried to uh, 
stop them folks from getting spread everywhere. The Assyrian Empire kind of held the Babylonian religions and traditions in, in a bottle. And then them, them no pigmented peoples from in Turkey and, and in the Caucasus Mountain would go, you know, open the bottle and then unleash all the religions and so forth. All right, this would be right here. This would be up in here. This bacteria. This is Babylon right there. And then this is bacteria right there. And then that's where those Eastern religions come from. I had uh, made a, a, a book. Man, I got a book called A Religion Killer. And in, in The Religion Killer, you know, I explain how the Babylonian system uh, uh, worship you know the Babylonian system of worship has always been a snare to the creator's peoples you know the belief that our deeds can be that our deeds can save us is at the heart of every religion on earth and when we believe that we can earn you know our salvations through actions we put our trust in ourselves instead of you know in the creator and we may even think that even certain spiritual disciplines can make us better or more worthy. And we feel that we deserve eternal life. These beliefs give us a sense of power. You know what I'm saying? And, and then we end up believing in our good works will buy us. You know what I'm saying? The favors of the creator. But you know, that's kind of, you know, wrong. And, and, and that, you know, all, all of these beliefs are contrary to the truth uh, uh, of the Bible, the Tanakh, the history that the Creator had recorded, because the Creator wanted the Hebrew Israelites to be the priestly nation, you know what I'm saying, to the earth. And uh, I'm going to show this. All right, we're going to go to uh, Exodus 19.6. Exodus 19.6, and we're going to see what the Creator said. All right. I'm going to say, Moses went up unto Yah, and the Elohim called him out of the mountain, saying, Thou shalt, thou shalt say, say to the house of Jacob, tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine so them Babylonian gods is nothing and then them gonna be the angelic beings that went into the uh, man's daughters and so forth and then that's where them eastern religions come from and if you look at the Indian religion man it's full of them alright and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So the Creator wanted us to be, a, you know what I'm saying, a holy nation. And, and that's what, you know, he created us for. You know, man, to be a holy nation unto him. And uh, uh, we know that we Hebrews, you know, didn't keep that, you know. For wherein shall it be known? Let me see. Here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight. Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated and I and these people from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Elohim said unto Moses, I will do this thing. So the Creator separated us from all the peoples. You know what I'm saying? And made us his special people that all other religions... And all other religion systems is no good. It is no good because the Creator chose the children of Israel. All right, Hebrews. I know that you know. This is what I want to show is how our enemies, the people who we abandon our heritage to, you know, they got these uh, religions called the Abrahamic religions. The Abrahamic religions, and you know, I explained that how we Hebrews abandoned 
our heritage to some Babylonian scribes and how these Babylonian scribes none uh tricked the whole world on who is Israel and then how these religions was created off that. Now you got a people that are not even descended from Abraham create a religion a, 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 a free religions and, and and then say that they Abrahamic religions when the prophet Abraham's descendants lost the original covenant that the creator gave them and went into Africa and, and was enslaved in the transatlantic slave trade and how all this line been going on for a long time and then they even try to say that prophet Abraham is a Jew see this is what make Judaism Christianity and Islam no good but for the simple reason is that those religions don't know that the people who are recognized as Israel today are not the Israelites and that how did they religions were created off that falseness and, and created off that uh, uh madness and so forth you know the Christians think that the Jews today are the Israelites and so do the people that believe in Islam they think that the Jews represent the Israelites and how that that's false and how that when Islam was created in uh, uh in the 600 AD men around about that time you know you know uh, uh that the uh Jews been around in our heritage for like 1185 years you know from 722 BC to the time that Islam was created you know and also you know from 588 BC from I, from 588 BC to the time that Islam was created you know that the people who created these new religions didn't know that the people who portrayed to be the Israelites were not the Israelites. So it make them religions no good, you know, because Islam was created. It didn't even know who the real Israelites are. And it think that the Jews today are the Israelites. The same with Christianity. You know, Christianity is supposed to, you know, Islam is supposed to come off Christianity and supposed to be a true and, and better way. But Christianity is false. And that the creator ain't sent no God's son to do none of that. And that how the Hebrews that broke the covenant during the Babylonian wars couldn't escape judgment. So therefore, it, it wouldn't be no need for no demigods to come save the Israelites that they couldn't get saved from the transatlantic slave trade. And how, you know, that once our bondage come to an end, that we won't need no demigods and no forth like that. Or nothing like that because we'll all be worshiping and knowing the creator but this is what i want to show hebrews you know why we have to be religion killers and then how we got to be against the religions of the day because the religions of the day can be traced to babylon you know we know that christianity come off judaism and we know that the people who created judaism are the babylonian scribes and how Islam and follow Christianity you know what I'm saying and how they all supposed to believe in the prophet Abraham is what unite them but how did that come from the uh, fake you know the fake Israelites the Babylonian scribes who portray themselves as being Israelites since the Babylonian uh, uh, wars all right Hebrews look check this out this is what I want to show this is what these Devil's say the junk is pure man and Abrahamic religion is a religion whose followers believe in the prophet Abraham and his descendants to hold an important role in human and, and, and spiritual development now that's crazy now this what the Jews you know that people think that the Jews represent this through Judaism and that the world gets some type of spiritual blessings or understanding from the Jews who portray themselves as being Israelites today. You know, that mess is crazy. Look, and, and Abrahamic religion is a religion whose followers 
believe in the prophet Abraham and his descendants to hold an important role in human spiritual development. Yeah, that's true. If you can relate that to the real prophet Abraham descendants, which going to be the people from the transatlantic slave trade. And, you know, we got plenty of spiritualism. We got plenty of spiritualism. You know, and some of the spiritualism is misdirected right now, but we got plenty of that. And how we will be the people who would, you know, give the whole world the spiritual understanding from going through what we've been through. And how we broke the covenant with the creator and disobeyed the, uh, the creator and was enslaved. And how we would, you know, come back to our glory. So, you know. That's where the people's spiritual development is going to come from. Look, the best known Abrahamic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Man, that's messed up because the, uh, because the Islamic people think that the Jews today represent the Israelites. And that's false. That's false. So that make their religion false because when their religion come into existence, the Jews had been holding the Israelite heritage for thousands some years so that those people who believe in Islam and, and Muhammad wouldn't know that the Jews were not the original Israelites so they make their whole religion you know off and then how the Christians the people who believe in Christianity it is off and false because you know the people who would have made up the New Testament the exiles from Babylon were destroyed real fast when they returned from Babylon or from the Babylonian captivity and came back to the promised land and only lived in Jerusalem and around the parts and how they was destroyed real fast. I got plenty of videos showing how the Greeks start claiming the Israelite heritage and so forth. And then I can show how some of these, uh, uh, the men, the Greeks went to uh, Babylon and then the Babylonian priests would educate the uh, the Greeks and so forth. Okay, so, you know, let me get on some of this here. Look, yeah. man, it's like the, the Zoroastrian religion. You know, Xerxes who recorded the Zoroastrians, the Chaldean, to have taught Pythagoras and Babylon. You know what I'm saying? And... He gonna be the founder of the Zoroastrian religion, one of them Babylonian scribes that went to uh, bacteria and then started them Eastern religions and so forth. Okay, look at this here. The Jewish people. The Jewish people are an ethno-religious group in a nation originating from the Israelites and Hebrews of his. Historical Israel and Judah, Jewish ethnicity, nationhood, and religion are strongly interrelated. As Judaism is the ethnic religion of the Jewish people, while its observance varies from strict observance to complete non-observance. Judaism, or Jews originated as an ethnic religious group in the Middle East during the second millennium B.C., in the Levant, known in the land known as the Levant, what they call the land of Israel, the Messianists there look the Israelites as an outgrowth of the Canaanite population consolidated their whole in emergence. Me and them folks is crazy, and, and then how did they try to turn the Israelites into Canaanites? Is because the Amorites, who we abandon our heritage to, are uh, uh, Canaanites and how did they current claim a uh, Israelite heritage now you know the the Sephardi Jews you know the Sephardi Jews and they are Babylonian scribes and they're gonna be some of the people some some of they people that went to uh bacteria and, and started you know them Eastern religions you know Zoroasterism and, and so forth but but you see Amorite Sephardim that's where the Babylonian scribes were that kept the Babylonians' God's history. And the Sepharvims was placed 
in Samaria and our land in 722 BC and then how when we Hebrews went into uh, Africa and abandoned our heritage to them that they wasn't nothing but Canaanites you know the Amorite culture went from from the promised land from the promised land all the way to uh, Mesopotamia you know what I'm saying Iraq uh, uh, Babylon and how that they was the founders of the Babylonians empire and so forth and, and how did them folks uh, uh, created them religions off them felling angelic beings that settled in Babylon that, that had went into the caves in Turkey but then I guess they come back out and then they populated Babylon and then they started they evil uh, uh, religions and so forth and then this is what I want to or talk about Hebrews, you know what I'm saying? I already explained how the Creator said that, you know what I'm saying, we'll be a priestly nation unto him, you know, that's Exodus 19.6. And, and, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and the holy nations. These are the words which the Elohim shall speak unto the children of Israel. So the world has to look for the Hebrews that know truth to even get, you know what I'm saying, an understanding of what's going on. You know, the, 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 the adoration of any god and goddesses outside the true creator of the Bible is idolatry and satanically inspired. You know what I'm saying? The belief that spiritual power can come to an individual outside the creator and creation through self-effort by forces in nature or from spirits separated from the biblical creator that spoke to prophet Moses descendants you know what i'm saying that's the mystery babylonian religions you know what i'm saying that babylonian paganism you know what i'm saying you know in the final end you know them babylonian uh, uh scribes that control our heritage is basically trying to get everybody on the babylonian religion and gods and how did they make the Bible seem obsolete you know if you look at the curses and read the biblical history and you see that none of them prophecies and destructions that was prophesied to come on the Israelites never came to pass on the Jews the people who portray themselves as Israelites then they make the whole world in disbelief and then how they try to take you from that disbelief over into the Babylonian religious and mystery systems you know what I'm saying <coughs> you know <coughs> those who claim you know what I'm saying they not pagans uh, uh, you know what I'm saying uh, 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 or that that they are not witches you know what I'm saying don't understand this common root and, and source of all polynistics and you know that pantheist pantheistic beliefs you know the Bible say that there is nothing new under the sun you know there is nothing new all right, New Age spiritualism come from Babylon. You know that New Age spiritualism come from Babylon, and then those traits and, and beliefs went over into uh, bacteria, and then that would make up them Eastern religions too. You know, new. You know what I'm saying? The New Age and New Spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Are are, are in the Eastern Paleo uh, religions because they all come from the same root source you know all these beliefs originated from the Babylonian mystery religion you know that would be when them Babylonian priests was you know I already explained how they went from from the Mesopotamia area to a, a bacteria and then from bacteria you know you get, you know, all the other Eastern religions through Zoroasterism, then Bormanism, then I think you get the the Buddhism and, you know, all of those stuff. You know, the Babylonian re religious system, you know, goes back to, you know what I'm saying, the rebellion against the Creator. You know, with, uh, with Nimrod and, and, and them peoples under his control building that tall tower saying that they ain't gonna be drowned by the uh by the creator no more and how that they gonna build them a tower all the way up to the heavens you know because the creator had already none you know confined those descendants of the 
heavenly host that had went into man's daughter to the earth. So, you know, they're going to be wanting to get up to the heavens and get back up there, you know. The, uh, you know, that tower baby, you know, that stuff go, you know, 4,000 years back, you know, modern pagan movements, you know, it's not, it's nothing more than the ancient paganism put in a new package, you know, that's them Babylonian religions and so forth, you know, the new age spiritualism, you know, falls under, you know what I'm saying, all kind of titles, you know, them spiritual, uh, evil, wicked, uh, 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 what they call witches and so forth, you know, the, the pre-existence before our present lives on earth, the reincarnation, pantheism, the worship creation un of, uh, other than the creator, Yah, human species will evolve into Christ consciousness or a God state, God is a force, everyone or everything is part of, you know, this active creative force, because God is everything, collective thoughts, and create reality. You know, all, all, all that come from the Babylonian uh, religious uh, uh, system. The Mother Earth is part of the fourth, and she is a living entity. You know, that's part of the uh, Babylonian religious mystery system. You know, if human abuse of Mother Earth continues, she will have to defend herself in severe Natural upheavals. We must reduce our population and, and and eliminate all the negative thinking people. You know that's part of the Babylonian system. Moni, monotheistic fundamentalism. You know by education or, or removal. Some in the New Age believe that our parent species are alien life forms. They say these aliens planted us here sometime in the past, and that. They are due to return. This belief will set the world up for the greatest, you know, deception. Getting in touch with your inner self, inner healing, signs and wonders ministries, you know, the course in miracles, contact with uh, ascended masters, contact with aliens, soul travel, out of body experience, near death experience, spirit guides, yoga positive confessions, possi possibility thinking, you know what I'm saying, your words have power so you can speak things into existence, you know, all that come from the new age Babylonian religious systems that they setting up for the day for the people, evolution, visions from Mary, you know, uh, uh, crying statues, you know, slaying in the spirits, laughing, barking, and talking in strange languages, you know what I'm saying, that's them Christians with that uh, talking in tongues stuff, schools claiming to be Christians that teach one how to become a prophet, witchcraft, shamanism, altered state of consciousness, hypnotism, c collective consciousness, tolerance for forbidden practices, reaching Christ consciousness, sweat lodges, Krishna, the Mathura Buddha, Iman Mahadi, Dalai Lama, you know, the poor negative thinking. And, you know, I, I, all this stuff come from, you know, the Babylonian religious system. The reincarnation of Christ in another body. There are many paths to, to, to Yah. All religions lead to Yah. Unity, Mormons, Masons, Scientology, Zen Buddhism. We are all about to evolve to a higher form. All that mess come from the Babylonian religious system. Animal rights. Elevation of other species to the level of human beings. Alternate lifestyles. Rejection of Judeo-Christian morality and beliefs. There are no moral absolutes. Vegetarianism. Health food. Organic food products as a higher lifestyle. Holistic healing. Alternative medicine took into mysterical men extremes. <coughs> Psychics, remote viewers, channelers, astrologers, fortune tellers, teen concepts to replace individualism, personality typing or profiling, diversity training, correct thinking, people 
right thinking people, the basic goodness of human man, personal guru, self-improvement seminars, outcome-based education. It takes a village. You can be anything you want to be, abortion, birth control, family planning, the right to choose, alien encounters, you know, all the stuff, reincarnation, demonism, word of faith, you know, new apostolic reformations, you know, Joel's army, manifestation of God's sons, replacement theology, suppression, suppression theology, the force wizards, you know, power pyramids, crystal pyramids, new spirituality, the Kabbalah, secret societies, alternative lifestyles, communism disguises social justice, all paths leads to God. You know, they got all kind of old crazy stuff, you know, that them Babylonian scribes, you know, created when they had left Babylon after they empire was starting to destroy and then how that they wanted Babylon to be the center for all worship and religion but then how when the creator broke them up and then how that them people would go to other places well the uh the uh the Babylonian scribes went and tried to you know put them peoples under religions uh, uh put them people under religions and then, you know, try to bring them all together with, you know, all those, you know, false beliefs and so forth. You know, that how all them religions have false belief in common. And then that's how they unite it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, man, let me get into the Zoroasterism. You know, you know what I'm saying? Zoroasterism is a, a, a religion that they created in... Uh, uh, Persia that went, you know, with what they call Iran, and, and then, you know, it comes from bacteria, all, all that was part of the bacteria, bacteria nation, and then how did the other religions, you know what I'm saying, w would come off of it, you know, the uh, Zoroasterism is the panentheistic fold where it can be easily traced to its shared origin with Indian Burmanism, you know, as the central element in Zoroastrian concept, is, you know what I'm saying, is that free will. You know, Zoroastrianism rejects all forms of monasticism, in, in which, you know, is found in the Catholic and Orthodox traditions, you know, in Buddhism, in Hinduism, in Janu, Januism, you know what I'm saying, and, and that the Indian Brahmanism can be traced to other Babylonian religions. You know what I'm saying? The religion of Brahmanism is what is known as the Vedic, also known as Vedism, you know, ancient Hinduism and Brahmanism, the Vedic Brahmanism, the Vedic religion was the religion of the Indo-Aryans and existed in northern India, you know, man around about 2000 uh, uh, BC, you know, and it came to an end around about 500 BC, you know, and, and then how did them religions that, you know, that's in the East, you know, Brahmanism and, 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 and the Vedic and, and all those languages that them religions come from can be traced to bacteria and then to Babylon. And then, you know, the Babylonian scribes would, you know, control everything you know that's like right now today you know that them people don't have no problem with the jews and so forth and, and then you know like i said you know these people who created what they call the Abra abrahamic religions you know that's like you know the uh they say that abraham was a jew you know and saying that he the first jew and then how that the prophet Judah wasn't even born when Abraham, you know, when prophet Abraham was around, you know. And then, you know, these people who claim it to be Israelites and them misled the whole world. And then how the religions that they created off that deception, man, man, it's no good. You know, it's no good. You know, Christianity, Judaism. Christianity and Islam is no good because the people who believe in Christianity and Islam 
think that the Jews today are the descendants or are the actual Israelites. And that's false. And then how did they religions was created by those Babylonian scribes, you know, because both of those religions, you know, Christianity and Islam believe that the Jews were the Israelites. And then how did they religion is fashion within that consciousness right there and there's no escaping that and how that the Sebhardis are not the Israelites and the Ashkenazi are not the Israelites and how I prove this all the time in all the videos in all the videos and how the Ashkenazi and the Sebhardis are not Israelites and they can't ever be Israelites and then that's why come people be in disbelief with the uh with the Bible is because you read the Bible and you know that the Creator is supposed to bring destruction meant upon Israel for breaking covenant and we know that biblical history show that the covenant was broken so therefore why all these curses at that's supposed to be on the Jews ain't no curses on the Jews so therefore people be in disbelief see the world don't know that the Israelites who supposed to be the priestly nation for the creator and that how all those other religions are no good and then how that the Israelites abandoned their duty to the creator and went into Africa to do African religions and then from there you get the Babylonian scribes and their religions dominating the world and, and then how that long as the Israelites, the true Israelites, are not seen as Israelites, which you can connect to biblical history and know that it's a creator, then they kind of make all those other religions some good and make it seem like they're real and so forth. You know, man, it's a cold, it's a cold mess going on. But it comes from us Israelites not destroying the Canaanite coach you know not destroying the canite culture when we come out of egypt and you know then we go into africa and and then it's like this if we didn't record ourselves going into africa in the book of jeremiah it wouldn't even be known today because you don't get no history outside the biblical history showing that the hebrews ran into africa it's one of the best kept secrets on the whole planet earth is that the hebrews ran into africa you ain't finna get no books talking about this you ain't finna get no movies you ain't finna get nothing saying that the hebrews ran into africa to live to do egyptian religion no way in history and that the israelite brotherhood is bringing this history you know because we ain't finna keep going and keep getting walked on and stuff you know that's like you know we got the order of elijah that that's the the religion killers. All right. These are the people who we abandon our heritage to during the Babylonian Wars after they was placed and they will be seen as Israelites today. And then how the whole world is fooled and how did the whole world of uh, the, the the three religions that that they claim and put on Prophet Abraham put that line on him and how did those three religions were created off this misconception and lie. Look, you see right there. Second Kings chapter 17, verse 24. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Cutter and from Abel and from Hamath and from Sepharavim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. You see, that Hebrew word, Sepharavim, that's the Hebrew word for Sephardi. Right now, if you type Sepharavim in, it's going to translate into Sephardi. They're going to change that. One day, they're going to change that. Well, you ain't going to be able to do that. Well, them was Babylonian scribes and them people responsible for the whole Babylonian God's history. And then, they was Amorites on top of that. See? So, the whole Babylonian culture and history with the felon angelic beings, and I show you that they got human characteristics and was like humans that they ate and, and and everything and walked around and all that, and how did 
the the Amorites would, you know, promote the angelic beings, uh, uh, religious ideology, which was false, which turned them into gods and so forth, and had the people worshiping them, and and then that's where false religion come from, and how those Babylonian scribes would take that same religious concept to bacteria, and then from bacteria you, you get all those other eastern religions all right so we see that them babylonian scribes was placed in samaria and then they would stay there all the way to we hebrews was driven out the land during the babylonian wars you know we was driven out the land during the babylonian wars you know we only like stayed in the promised land 800 years so that ain't enough time to leave no culture no, nothing. Then. And then if you go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, this is what it sums up to that us Hebrews saying that we wasn't going to do the covenant no more and that how it was better for us to live in Africa where we had everything and then how we would be abandoning our jobs as priests to the creator and then that's how all the other religions sprung up after that real fast you know and then you'll see that all those religions come about 500 600 bc you know what i'm saying uh, uh man around about that time is the time that we broke covenant it's the time that those eastern religions gonna start popping up all right but you see this is what we see to break the covenant that would allow those religions to be dominant today those failing angelic beings uh, uh history and of their gods and so forth all right this is jeremiah chapter 44 verse 15 16 17 and 18 then all the people then all the men which knew that their wives had burnt incense unto other gods and all the women that stood by a great multitude even all the people that that dwell in the land of Egypt and Pathros answered Jeremiah saying as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Elohim we will not hearken unto thee but we will certainly do so whatever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her uh, uh the queen of heaven ain't nothing but the Ptah Ra Isis Horus religion you know and the golden calf and, and the queen of heaven is just a uh the representation all right let me see to uh, pour out drink offerings unto her as we have in our fathers our kings our princes in the cities of judah and in the streets of jerusalem for then had we plenty of food and were well but and, and saw no evil but since we left off to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by famine so we said that us not having the, the, the Egyptian religion and, and worshiping it was the reason why we was being driven off the land into Africa. You know, I explained in the history how the Egyptians tricked us and, and then got us to uh, worship their religion and, and then how that the creator was against the Egyptian Mesopotamian religious system and then how we Hebrews was driven off the land into Egypt and then into Africa and how we was enslaved and how all those religions today come about because of our abandonment, you know, to the one and true creator where we would have been the priests on the face of the earth. You know, as can be seen how all nations came to honor Solomon in the temple that the creator put his holy name and so forth and oh man. It's a mess, but like I say, that the uh, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam it, it is false off the top. They are no good. They are no good for the simple reason is that they don't know who the real Israelites are. And how did these religions, Judaism was created by the Babylonian scribes, which led to Christianity, which led to Islam, and how did those religions don't understand who the real israelites are or what happened to the israelites during the babylonian wars you know these religions don't show that the israelites ran into africa to be enslaved and that the creator punishment and judgment 
was related to that and how all everything is related to that you know christianity don't show you that christianity teach you to believe in a demigod and to worship a god's son and we know that could no god's son save the israelites from the curses that the creator set forth you know and, and how that christianity was created uh, as a proxy religion you know Ashkenazi got control of Christianity in the Sephardi, Sephardim got control of Islam and so forth and how the uh, Amorite Sephardis control the Judaism and how these other religions come off them, you know, from Babylon and so forth. You know, they all related and they all go back to one people, the Babylonian scribes. You know, this is the message from the Israelite Brotherhood. I'm going to go a little more in the depth with the religions and so forth. But we must know that we cannot worship none of these religions. And that we cannot follow behind Judaism. We can't follow behind Christianity. And we can't follow behind Islam. Because none of those religions understand who the true Israelites are. And that how those religions were created with the false uh, uh, perception that the people who we abandon our heritage to were the Israelites. So that's, you know, that's messed up right there that these religions think that the Jews or these religions teach that the Jews today are the Israelites. Christianity was created when the Jews been in our heritage about 800 years. Islam was created when the Jews been in our heritage man for about 1100 years so all these religions will look at the false people as israelites make their religion no good make their religion no good they show you that they ain't got no truth right there is because they look at the wrong people as being the children of israel so therefore they can't never have no salvation there's no salvation from nobody there's no salvation for anybody that believe in those religions and how that your only salvation is going to come is from the Israelites when they wake up and, and then go back to doing the things that they're supposed to do for the creator. Then everybody gets salvation. But how everybody are being tricked now by the Babylonian scribes. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. Wake up, Hebrews. You got to come off them religions. You got to come off them religions because our enemies created them religions. Shalom.